Chris, I'm going to just want to do a quick video, uh, really on the idea of whatever it is you're searching for, you'll find, you know, there's a, a cognitive bias and it, it basically is a, the narrative fallacy that whatever story you're telling yourself, you're going to find um, statistics and reports to back that up. And, and the reason why I'm bringing this up is I had a really interesting conversation with uh, my mother. We're talking about vaccines and we have um, alternate ideas on quite a controversial topic. And, uh, and I know that I can find a stat to back anything up if I search for it, uh, because, because most things, there's uh, tests or research that have gone both ways. And so, and so could she. And so the, the thing is, is that sometimes it can become so confusing because whatever it is you search for, you find an answer that confirms it. And then because of all the algorithms on the internet, then all that happens is uh, you, you find that. So you get sent more of that, you click on more things and that's all you end up seeing. So it changes your worldview. Now, this is also true. Uh, some of my, my team and my, my sales uh, organization, one of my company and my sales team. And uh, I noticed that some of them always have good calls. And others always have people not showing up. And it's really fascinating to me. It's like, okay, how is it that this person can, you know, 100 leads come in and every day we divide them up and 100 leads come in the next day and we divide them up. How is it that one person is always having great conversations with awesome people and then someone else is always having, you know, this person didn't have the funds to be able to invest in the program and, you know, they were negative. How is that true? You know, maybe once in a while, but how is it day in, day out that that happens? Now, again, with my coaches, uh, this happens as well. You know, I, I, I have a bunch of coaches that are in our organization and we sell sessions and they take the sessions. Some of the coaches, Coaches, you know, that the person was horrible and they had to refund them and they didn't want to work with that person at all. And then others having the best time and the, the people are upgrading into their programs and it's it's just uh it's just magic. But again, it's the same people. And is it just true in life, you know, that you can pretty much find what, what it is you're looking for? There's a part in your brain, it's got a really weird name. It's called the reticular activating system. Strange, reticular activating system. Anyway. This system is, is that part of you that when, you know, you buy a new car and you see that uh, that car everywhere, you know, uh, you never saw it before. I think uh, it's also true that, you know, pregnant women, uh, they, they say they always see other pregnant women, you know, or and, and it's because that's what's important to us. Our brain sorts and it will sort of sort and find what's important. And, and even though uh, the alternate things are there, what your brain has decided is important will find. And so that's really interesting. So I want to ask you that question, because right now it is a it is a crazy time to be a human being, you know, like there's the, they're drawing lines in the in the earth and saying, well, if you live there, you know, you, you got to stay there without a vaccine. You can't go here. You know, you got to show up. Hard. There's all sorts of stuff happening, you know, and uh, it's a crazy time. It's just a crazy time. There's, uh, you know, none of the other animals got a problem, but humans got a got a crazy time at the moment. And, and, and here's what I want to suggest to you is whatever you truly believe you'll find. So if you believe that the, you know, the world is, is coming uh, to a, your big, a big um, crash, you, you can find lots of research on that. And in fact, there's a whole um, bunch, bunch of research that every 80 years, the world goes into huge conflict and uh, you know, go back 80 years from now when you're in 1940 and that's when the war was, go back 80 years before that, you're in the 1850s, civil war, go back before that, 1770s, you know, but you keep going and you can just see the same the same pattern of war, sign something new, and then we start. You can find that. But you can also find a 10-year pattern that says every 10 years, the, the economy has a, a, a big dip and then rebounces even bigger. Because you think about it, go back 10 years, we're in 2007, 2008. We had the, the Great Recession. Uh, we bounced back the other side of that into something good. 10 years before that was a dot-com boom. Remember Y2K? 10 years before that give or take, uh, 1987 stock market crash, 10 years before that, we're in the, the end of the 70s where, you know, everyone's lining up for cars, uh, lining up for, for petrol, the, you know, days on, days off when you can get gas, those sort of things. So, so every, every 10 years, you know, there's something and then we bounce back stronger. So, so you see that just in that short time, I, I tell you two different pieces of statistics, statistics that are both true. They're both true, they, but they paint different pictures. And I think that uh, you're going to find what it is that you believe. So some people, if they truly believe, well, you know what, this is that 80 year journey. It's going to be super, super big chaos. Um, there's going to be world conflict, all these things in it. Then it's there. Others in the 1940s, when there's big conflict, uh, you know, and then when New World came out, they they doubled down and they made so much extra financial gains for themselves, for their families, had a great time. You see, it's not that 100 percent of everyone is experiencing the same thing all the time. It's what we're searching for. It's what we're coded for. And that's what we really help people with at MagMind. 
And, uh, and I just wanted to share that with you. Just, just check in with yourself. Uh, are you finding problems because that's what you're sorting for? It's okay if someone else doesn't believe what you believe. If they want to, you know, they want to do that or that person doesn't want to do that or this person's doing so, so just let it be. If you focus on what you want to create, you are going to find it because your brain will sort for it. There's always examples in, in every time period, there's an example of everything. And if you wanna focus on what it is you wanna focus on, you're gonna find more of that. I think one of the, uh, the challenges that uh, many of the people that come into our work face is they get stuck down this loophole and they, but they think they're truth seekers, but really they're just finding the next, the next, the next thing that start, takes them out of their power, you know? And they message me and they tell me about the Illuminati, this or the that, and, you know, and they've got these facts and they back it up and they, they've been so obsessed. I always ask them like, does this make you happy? You know, is it happy that you, you've you gone and found all of this? Because I did it too. And, and then you, you realize after you go down it enough that there's an alternate um, uh, route of opposite facts that are just as convincing. And then you end up getting super confused. So the point is, you will find whatever it is that you focus on. You will. You can find stats, facts, figures, stories, narratives. You can find patterns, structures, anything. You really can. So my question is, what is it that you want your brain focused on? This amazing mechanism, this amazing you know, reticular activating system that is uh, able to focus all of your conscious energy. What do you want it to focus on? My choice for you is you focus and you find the parts in your world that are abundant, that uh, do have opportunity, that do feel good, and, and focus on people who are able to find those things, and you'll get more of it. Love and light. You're awesome. Stay focused. Stay magnetic. Uh, and uh, if you liked it, leave a comment underneath this video. Let me know uh, whether that helped just to refocus you today. Hit the thumbs up button so YouTube knows that it's a, it's a good thing. And have a great day. Share this out with someone who needs it, uh, and let them stay focused on what they love. Bye for now.